Hi Cancer, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your support. It truly means the world. If you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And uh, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, like peace, prosperity, and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good and I should have said us because as many of you know uh -huh, I can hear you saying it now you are a cancer moon sign yes I am all right so let's have a look what are we releasing removing or letting go of from our life path this week what are we removing releasing or letting go of from our life path this week and this week we are letting go of the six of wands right so the six of wands is a card of victory and procession it's also a card of effectively in some ways blowing your own trumpet it's and it's not about being cocky or arrogant it's about saying look this is what i have done these are my achievements the fact that you're letting go of the Six of Wands really, for me, means a couple of things. One, it's about you not stepping on your own toes. It's that, you know, sometimes the Cancerians, whether you, whatever your energy with the Cancerian is, sometimes they tend to downplay what they've done or what they've been good at uh, so that other people can shine. That's a very uh, maternal or per, uh, paternal uh, or even just a parental, that's a very parental trait. You know, like if you win at a game, you wouldn't sit there and go to your child like, hey, I won, yeah. Or maybe you would. I mean, I'm that immature, so who knows. <laughs> Jokes aside though, what I'm trying to say is, up until now, I kind of feel like a lot of Cancerians have not really been speaking up and owning how good they are at something, or saying, actually, you know what, I deserve a little bit more respect for this, this, and this reason. And because you're letting go of the Six of Wands, this is about you really kind of, it's almost like in its opposite form. It's like you're saying to yourself, you know what, I've kind of become a bit blocked with blowing my own trumpet and acknowledging how good I am at things. So you know what, I'm gonna let go of the Six of Wands, which means I'm going to let go of the procession. I'm not going to let go of this idea that validation comes from outside. It comes from within. It comes from me. And as long as I am aware of these things, I don't necessarily have to blow my own trumpet. But you know what? Fuck it, I will. Uh, this is really about you saying to yourself, I validate me. I don't need anyone or anything outside of me to do that for me. I will do it myself. So what are we working on now? What is at the heart or at the meat of the matter? And this week we get the emperor standing in your own power, being acknowledged and observed for the things that you have achieved and really standing your ground. This is gonna be a week, my dear Cancerians, where you are digging in. I mean, woe betide anybody that tries to push the Cancerian this week, because I really tell you, they'll probably get the sharp end. Uh, with the emperor is what you're working on now. This is about you establishing your own authority in your life. As what you're working on, this is about you learning about yourself. This is about you coming back into the ground and school of life so to speak and really going to yourself you know what what is it about me actually that really should shine what are the things that I now want to push forward and ultimately what is the decision that I am making for myself that I will not allow myself to be swayed on let's have a look see all right so the key to the week is the Hierophant, right? So this is really about you, I mean really about you establishing, re-establishing your boundaries, really setting up firm boundaries and firm beliefs and basically saying to yourself, this is where I am at, this is how I will continue. You can either be on board or you can not be on board. The choice is up to you. But Cancerians are getting very tough this week. And with the Hierophant as the key to the week, this is about you really looking at the structures of your life, your support systems, your support network, the people that you socialize with, uh, the area that you live in, right? Everything is coming into question for you guys this week in a really big way. And I kind of feel like it's not, to, you know, it's not like upsetting the apple cart for the sake of it. This is about you saying, right, you know what I've done, I've given and I've been everything for everybody else. I'm now bringing it back to myself and I'm now going to enjoy myself. I'm now going to enjoy the life. Uh, I'm going to now enjoy the, the life that I'm building for myself. Uh, and ultimately, I'm not going to let anything or anyone hold me back from that. You're getting committed to yourself 
yourself this week, my dear Cancerians, in a way that you have not been for a very long time. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know how it shapes up for you in the comments. Take care and I'll see you very soon.